Could Prince William be stepping in for his ailing father at the upcoming Monday Thursday service? This question is on many minds as Easter approaches. Maundy Thursday, a significant event in the Christian calendar, holds deep importance for the British monarchy. It's a ceremony rooted in humility and service, symbolizing the teachings of the Last Supper. The monarch traditionally washes the feet of subjects and distributes specially minted Maundy coins. But this year, with King Charles III battling cancer, the royal duties may fall upon the shoulders of Prince William. This raises a critical question. What is Prince William's relationship with the Church of England? Unlike his father, whose religious fervor is well documented, William's public engagement with religious discourse has been minimal. Yet, he's destined to lead the Church of England as a future king. This potential shift in royal duties brings into focus Prince William's relationship with the Church of England. Prince William, unlike his father, has remained largely silent on matters of faith. Born to the spotlight, he was christened in the music room of Buckingham Palace, followed by his confirmation at the age of 14. These are significant rites of passage in the Church of England, marking one's formal admission into the Church. Yet, beyond these ceremonial milestones, William's public engagement with religious discourse has been notably limited. In stark contrast, King Charles III, William's father, has been a vocal participant in religious matters. His interests range from the traditional to the esoteric, demonstrating a deep fascination with faith and spirituality. This active involvement has been a defining aspect of his reign, setting a benchmark for royal engagement with the Church of England. However, Prince William's apparent reticence on religious matters raises intriguing questions about his future role as the head of the Church of England. His lack of public engagement with religious discourse is a marked departure from the norm, suggesting a potential shift in the monarchy's relationship with the Church. As societal attitudes towards religion continue to evolve, so too might the royal approach. A new generation of royals, led by Prince William, could usher in a more nuanced engagement with the Church, reflective of wider societal trends. The monarchy, while steeped in tradition, has not been immune to change. Prince William, with his modern sensibilities, could be the catalyst for a new era of royal religious engagement. His approach to faith, while personal, has broader implications for the monarchy and its relationship with the Church of England. As we move towards an increasingly secular society, the monarchy's role in religion becomes a delicate balancing act. Tradition, personal faith, and societal expectations all play a part in shaping this relationship. As societal attitudes towards religion evolve, Prince William's approach to his future role could signal broader changes in religious engagement among public figures. The choices he makes could redefine the monarchy's relationship with the Church of England, marking a new chapter in the ongoing story of the British Crown. The Act of Settlement, 1701, ties the monarchy and the Church together. But what happens when a future monarch may not share his predecessor's religious zeal? It's a question that warrants thoughtful contemplation particularly in the context of Prince William's apparent lack of religious fervor. While the constitutional requirements are clear-cut, requiring the monarch to be in communion with the Church of England, the practical application of this mandate is not quite so straightforward. You see, the essence of this requirement goes beyond mere attendance at church services or participation in religious ceremonies. It encapsulates a deeper spiritual commitment a heartfelt faith that guides the monarch in their service to the people. This poses a unique challenge for Prince William, whose public engagement with religious discourse has been markedly less fervent than that of his predecessors. 
It's worth noting that this isn't a simple case of tradition versus personal belief. It's a complex interplay that has the potential to impact the monarchy's role in a rapidly evolving societal landscape. Prince William's leadership, his approach to his religious duties as future monarch, could significantly shape the future relationship between the Crown and the Church of England. Could we see a shift towards a more secular monarchy, mirroring broader societal trends? Or might Prince William surprise us all? embracing his role as head of the church with a newfound religious zeal. Alternatively, could we see a reinterpretation of what it means to be in communion with the church, reflecting a more modern, inclusive understanding of faith? These are questions that we can't yet answer. However, what we do know is that the monarchy has always evolved in response to societal changes. And this situation is no different. It's a fascinating dynamic to observe and one that will undoubtedly shape the monarchy's future. In a rapidly evolving societal landscape, Prince William's approach to his religious duties as monarch could significantly impact the monarchy's role and relevance. So, as we look towards the upcoming Lent and Easter season, the Maundy Thursday question remains a compelling point of consideration.